My name is David Sloan Wilson. I'm the president of the Evolution Institute, and uh, I'm here to describe a project that we're doing with the National Evolutionary Synthesis Center called Evolutionary Mismatch and What to Do About It. A mismatch is something that occurs whenever a population is out of equilibrium with its environment. So when a population is adapted to its environment and then the environment changes, then the adaptations that worked well in the previous environment can become mismatched to the uh, current environment. And this is something that's central to the evolutionary process. Uh, populations are frequently out of equilibrium with their environment, and, but it can create uh, problems uh, not only for humans but for non-human species, especially um, in, uh, in current environments which are so often influenced by human so activity. Here's some, some uh, fascinating examples of, um, of uh, mismatch. It turns out that uh, lots of aquatic insects are attracted to man-made reflective surfaces. If you have solar panels or glassy surfaces on buildings, they are attractive to aquatic insects. And these insects were, uh, are, are well adapted to search out bodies of water, and they uh, typically use polarized light to do it. And uh, then, uh, but a glassy surface, surface uh, mimics that, and so they're attracted to the glassy surface and, and uh, even will oviposit on the, on the surface, which is obviously not to their benefit. So that's one example of mismatch. Another example is, is that uh, baby sea turtles, when they hatch from the sand, um, are uh, adapted to, of course, to seek the sea, but the way they detect that is by the light on the surface of the sea. And when beach houses go up and there's lights from the beach houses, then the, uh, the uh, turtles are tricked, basically, and they head inland, which obviously is not good for them. So these are good examples of, um, of mismatch caused by human activities. Climate, as you might imagine, is causing massive mismatches because so many species are adapted to, to um, uh, time their development and their reproduction to the seasons. And uh, when the uh, seasonal um, changes caused by climate change, then that causes them to, do the, um, to basically mistime their, their whole reproductive uh, cycle. So, for example, the, the, the reason we have a bad apple harvest this year is because we had such a warm, uh, such a warm spring. And mismatches uh, are especially common uh, for our own species because we are so mismatched to our um, uh, uh, ancestral environments. So only 10,000 years ago, uh, we lived in a completely different environment. We hunted and gathered, and we uh, lived in very small social groups. And so, um, and so the modern environment is uh, very mismatched to the ancestral environment. This um, influences the consequences of what we eat, how we exercise, how we socialize. Um, our immune system often responds in an in a, um, inappropriate way. And so uh, a lot of human misery is caused by this problem of mismatch. The project involves uh, a, a group of people meeting over a period of two years in order to clarify this concept, and the concept needs to be clarified for a professional audience in addition to people encountering the concept uh, for the first time, and then to, uh, and then to uh, go through case studies of mismatch in both humans and non-human species for both genetic evolution and cultural evolution uh, for our own species, and especially to focus on what to do about it. How can we take these examples of mismatches and, and perform the appropriate environmental intervention so that we could actually improve the quality of life um, based on um, uh, solving some of these mismatch problems?